What's up, YouTube? Here we are. Last episode of our first season of Zero to Hero. Not much intro needed, really. We've just got the final 10 games of the season. Uh, we'll bang through them and then get ready to do it all over again in Season 2, hopefully in a higher division. Please remember to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the series. It does help the channel an incredible amount. If you want to watch us running these challenges live as well, you can find us on the accounts on screen on Twitch. So let's see who finishes the season strongest, shall we? Have you seen the top three goal scorers in our division? Are they all your players? No. Number one, Alex Beck of Lincoln Moreland's Railway. Second, Alex Beck? Yeah, your striker. The one that you okay. bought in to replace the one that Connor stopped. Oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> he scored a shit ton for Wiverton. <laughs> they joined you and scored like three. But he's top scorer, and then threes, he's got 25 just behind him. And then in third is Joe Gowan from Commons Team. So we are the top three. Also, exactly the same players in exactly the same order, the player of the match. You know who my best uh, passer is in my team? Uh, none of them, because they will shit. My <laughs> fucking goalkeeper. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> To be fair, if you play short, it's very easy to keep 100% goals passing because I've got given it. Join in your score, you're welcome. Oh, oh that's dirty. Got that's got to be a red. Why is that not a red? Boy, you can feel the tension. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy you I scored. How the fuck was he not set off? <laughs> Who yeah, footed tackle in the box? Yeah, absolutely annihilated you. That was definitely a goal scoring opportunity. <laughs> Clearly, the rules in about amateur football don't count. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they can't afford to pay the fine, so we just won't send him off. All Castle, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm only three points behind second. Now. Behind you! <laughs> I'll be behind you soon! Yeah, by miles, mate. I'm not worried. <laughs> So at the end of the last episode, we were left with two games left in February, 10 games left in the overall season. For me and Connor, February was pretty good. We were both flying, looking like we might manage a first and second finish, which was a lot better than I thought any of us would manage at the start of this challenge. I won my final two games of February, 6-3, 3-0. Uh, Connor won both of his, 4-1 and 4-2. Uh, Jamie wasn't having quite as much fun because he went and lost both of his games. He lost 3-1 to Grimsby Borough Reserves and 4-0 to Skegness Town Reserves. So clearly the effectiveness of his arrow formation doesn't work as a long-term fix. So at the end of February, I was at the top of the league still. Connor had got himself into third place, was very much close to second. And Jamie was somewhere towards the bottom of the league, suffering, not in silence. Oh, oh, got a lad. Yes! <laughs> four two. Just, uh, just remember what happened last time you were at four two. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's around that time as well again, strangely enough. Just make sure you don't get three minutes added on again. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I might, I might actually change the arrow up. I might, I might change the arrow up. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, turn, turn an arrow down because that's the way on the league you're going. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, no, threes, he's injured. Yeah, good. No, what are you going to do? Substitute him. <laughs> oh, mate, threes, he's out like, for six weeks. Go oh, fuck that, break. Oh, oh, mate. You're going you to need a decent defence out there, mate. You ain't going to get those threesy goals. I have got Drew Lewis to come back in there. I've got 10 this season. So. Oh my god. Fucking Lewis is shit. This is why I dropped him. Shot altogether. Oh my god. Great play. Oh my god, Drew Lewis, I'm going to punch you in the face. I don't know why my scout just keeps scouting old men. <laughs> he, he, knows your, he knows your type, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so into March, uh, Jamie switched up from the arrow formation. I think he went back to a 4-4-2. Uh, he drew his first game against Wibberton, who beat me. He then lost to Immingham, 1-0, Crowell Colts, 3-0, and then ended the month by actually beating Horncastle Town, 1-0. Connor, his scouts were just apparently scouting old men. His month fixture-wise was he started it with a 1-1 draw with Brig. 
Lost 3-1 to Crowell Colts, who are on unbelievable form. I think they were about 15 games unbeaten. Uh, after being at the bottom of the league, they got a new manager, and then they started climbing dramatically. Uh, he then beat Netlam 4-1 and Skegness Town Reserves 4-1. My month uh, was a bit derailed by the fact that at the end of last month, uh, Chima Easy got injured. Uh, I thought it'd be okay bringing in... Um, Drew Lewis. Unfortunately, I was incredibly wrong. So the first game of the uh, of the month, I drew nil nil despite absolutely dominating Grimsby Borough because Drew Lewis's finishing was dreadful. Uh, I then beat Skegness Town four one. Uh, Cleethorpe's reserves. I drew three all, and then Crowell Colts, who had been on great form, I went and smashed five one to ruin their unbeaten form. So Drew Lewis's bad form and Chima Easy being injured led me to trying to find a new striker. Couldn't find one on the transfer market, so I looked in my under-18s. I managed to unearth this little gem in Kyle Cummings. And he's got 19 acceleration and 14 finishing. He's only 17, so I chucked him in the first team. And he manages to bag two goals in the game that was three all and made sure I didn't drop more than two points. Didn't do quite so well in the second game he played, but that didn't matter because 3 Z was back and he bagged against Crowl Colts and inspired me back to victory. So the win against Crowl, what it did was confirm that I was champions. Um, annoyingly, didn't let me watch the trophy lift, but did let Connor watch the trophy lift, despite the fact that he was only viewing my game. Horsewood's got himself two. One of my centre has got two. Three easy score. Three easy change the game, mate. Fucking champions. Oh, here it is. Look, Fucking champions. Trophy lift. We've got to watch the trophy lift. I'm not sure it's going to show it. Oh, I'm watching it now. Are you? It didn't show me it. Yeah. Get fucked. Fuck game. <laughs> Do you know what the funny thing is? They lifted the trophy to an empty stadium. <laughs> yes. Good lads. The fans went blind. Oh, no. There's two fans behind a goal. <laughs> there we go. Jim and Terry, mate. Committed fans they are. <laughs> oh, now they're doing a lap of honour. Why are they not letting me watch this? <laughs> hey, bullshit. Yeah, the players are doing cartwheels. I'll, I'll commentate for you. Okay, final four games of season one. Uh, I've already won the league, but I want to finish in good form, especially seeing as my first game of the month is actually against Jamie's team. Connor's fighting for second place, although we have discovered that there's no promotion for anyone other than the champion of this division. So finishing second is more for a moral victory than anything else. Um, Jamie is just trying to survive the season and still be employed at the end of it. So first game of the month uh, was me versus Jamie. Now, I jokingly said before this game that I was going to beat him 12-0 and send him to the job centre. What I didn't expect was for him to assist me in a massive score. So, uh, yeah, just take a look at this. I want at least 12 nil, otherwise I'm not happy. Now, now, this is a very long ball game. And well no, timed. don't you dare. You've got that, you've got that bastard from Wiberton that scored about 15 against me. Yes, Horsewood! Yeah, you've got that Beck that scored four past me in the same game again when I played Wiberton earlier in the season. Yes. On. Horsewood has got your number, mate. Where the fucking hell are your defense? Have you just changed your tactics? Well, I've just scored in like the first 10 seconds of the half, so this could be in trouble. What's going on with your defense? What have you done here? There we go, there's, one. there's another one. There he is. Breezy. And yes, it's good to get back to uh, to giving away pens, isn't it? But this commentary thing, right? It's uh, it's a bit weird because the commentators get properly excited, like what a goal when you score a penalty. <laughs> But he hit it, he hit it one on one with the keeper play. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> oh, I'm currently 7 0 up, so it's all good. <laughs> I think Jamie's, uh, Jamie's swinging from a life in in the changing rooms.
You actually know, think they made it to the changing rooms? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say the fans have lynched him, but he hasn't got any fans. So. <laughs> There's no, no one in the fucking ground. Simple. Decent looking ball. Well, that's where he wants it. Yes, Kyle Cummings, what a lad. Patrick for the young lad in five minutes. That's <laughs> just. I'm starting to feel bad now. <laughs> yes, yes, let's just keep the ball in the corner for 15 minutes and just stop killing him. Stop, stop, he's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exactly an XL wins. That's how it works in this league. When it's gold wins the league, they take the trophy and steal the win. That's it. You don't actually finish in a division, it literally just passes on to whoever beats the person that's holding it. Why is your uh, goalkeeper wearing a crop top? Because he's, uh, he's peddling for change from the crowd at the same time as being in goal by the looks of it. 12-0 the highest. 12-0 is what I called before the game. Be but I didn't expect Jamie to assist it. <laughs> it's fucking tactics. It's going. It's going. If you look at my... Uh, I'm going to come back to this. I've got... Here we go. This is, where the, this is where he takes it seriously for five minutes and batters me. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you have got 19 players up front. So. Oh, I ruined it. Fucking... Right, that's it. Subbing him, I'm subbing him off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now the winger's got on the act. <laughs> I didn't have any subs left, I couldn't. Look at my formation, Should I throw the ball water bottle and be like, the performance was unacceptable? <laughs> So Jamie threw in the towel, he let me stick 14 goals past him, and I went on to be unbeaten for the rest of the month. I won 1-0, drew 1-1, and won 4-2 in the final game of the season. Jamie went into his next game against Nunthorpe, and he lost 1-0. You're probably wondering why there's only two fixtures on Jamie's April. And uh, that is because this then happened. The board have asked me to join a meeting. Should I refuse to turn? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie out! Jamie out! Oh dear. If I fail to attend it, put and terminate to let me attend and see if I don't get sacked. <laughs> Try and talk your way into staying. I think I could turn this around with the arrow. <laughs> Should I threaten them? <laughs> I would probably bend over and take whatever they're giving at the minute. <laughs> I don't think you're. In... Oh, Lawson steps down! <laughs> Oh, oh, guys. Been sacked. No, you haven't. You've resigned. <laughs> Lincoln Mall and Railways boss Jamie Lawson has resigned. Did you not read the messages when they came up on the screen? Did they, did they turn around and say, look, you shit, we're going to get rid of you. Let's just let you look like you've stepped well, down. And then I did an Uno reverse, man. I'm like, I'm out of <laughs> you tried to call their bluff. Yep, so Jamie finally had the inevitable happen and he was fired as manager of Lincoln Railway Moorlands. It had pretty much been coming most of the season, to be honest. He should have been sacked about six games in. Uh, managed to turn it around within a 5-1 and 9-2 with that weird arrow formation. And then it all just sort of went downhill again from there. Um, so the only real person for the last couple of games needing anything was Connor. He had Lincoln United under-21s in the second-to-last game um, who were rivals for the second spot, and he stuffed them 5-1. And then, in his final game against Nunstorp, needing three points to get uh, second place, he went and got it. Beat Nunstorp 2-1, and he managed to finish second. Yes! Second! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, end of season one. Jamie got sacked. Morland's finishing 13th down here with 40 points, which I don't think is actually particularly bad considering their only plan finished like 10th. There were three points from it in the end. Honor got his second place. He finished on 63 points. His form in the second half of the season 
was very strong. He came came on leaps and bounds. He only lost two in a very long period of games. And then, obviously, I finished top. Uh, I ended up finishing 19 points clear of Connor in second place, which is pretty good. So we move on to season two. Jamie's looking for a job. Me and Connor are looking to improve on our previous seasons. I think Connor's really determined he's going to win the league next season. Um, and I would quite like to get another promotion. So, uh, yeah, I hope you'll be there for season two. If you could like and subscribe on the video, that would definitely help. If you could click the bell icon as well, and then obviously you'll get a notification when any of the episodes from season two get posted. So, yeah, again, thank you for being here, and we'll see you again soon.